Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Money Minded Michelle and I am back with another video. The theme of today's video is a post-Christmas clearance haul. I got some good stuff, you guys, and I can't wait to show you. Um, I'm recording before work. I've got some time uh, to do this. Uh, so the theme of today's video is also swift and smooth while still being able to share and show and uh, talk about the fun things that I got for myself. I went to uh, four different places. I went to Dollar Tree, Walmart, Kohl's, and Michael's and got um, some really nice items from each place and uh, got some really great prices. Uh, so why don't we just jump right into it, guys? Um, first, uh, I'll start with Michael's. That's where I bought the fewest items. And funny enough, none of them are really craft related. I've, uh, <laughs> I'm putting myself on a hiatus of buying craft items. I need to use what I already have. This is my mantra. I keep reminding myself, use what you already have. Now, I will admit that I did buy one item from Dollar Tree on clearance um, that I do intend to use for craft, but it's something that I intend to use immediately and give away as a gift. So I've justified the purchase, <laughs> but that's the only crafty item I bought. But anyway, Michael's. Um, I bought from Michael's for $1.20 a piece, so a little bit less expensive than Dollar Tree um, uh, for these large uh, shopping bags. I got this uh, red and green plaid print. It's got Michael's in the inset. Yeah, it's branded with Michael's on the inset, but it also is plaid on the inside. Um, I realized that like I I've been giving away my shopping bags and all of a sudden I don't have these large ones and frankly, I need them. Um, when Jacob and I take my mom shopping, um, my mom lives on the second floor of a walk up. I mean, it's not a lot of stairs, but it's enough that, you know, you need to be able to hoist the groceries upstairs. And I love these bags because we condense the grocery bags into these large bags and then we're able to carry just a couple of big heavy totes upstairs. And that seems to work for both of us. So I needed to re-up on those. So I got this plaid pattern, two of those. And then I also bought, I thought this was cute, this angel pattern. I thought this was really pretty. It's got like green vines, oops, in the inset. And also Michael's branded, but it's the large shopping totes. These are always useful. So I bought in total four of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, here comes my co-star Bagel, he, my curious kitty. What do you say, Bagel? Or do you want to lay on the shopping totes? You can lay on the shopping totes. That's fine. Okay, if you hear any crinkling down below, it's just Bagel laying on the shopping totes because cats are just going to cat. Anywho, the other item that I bought uh, from Michael's was a request uh, from my friend Shannon, who I still owe her gift basket to. Um, we need to figure out when we're going to get together. Her birthday is also in January, so I'm gonna qu kind of split up her um, Christmas basket. Not all the items I bought fit in the basket, and then uh, I'll make that as part of her birthday gift. So we'll just kind of split it up a bit. But one thing she said is, listen, when you're out there, if you're clearance shopping, can you take a look for um, one of those kits that have the small um, cast iron pan. She goes, you know what I'm talking about? I said, yeah, of course, like a skillet cookie or this is a skillet rookie made by the Cookie Dough Bites branded company. It's actually, it's a brownie mix that comes inside along with the chocolate covered Cookie Dough Bites candies that you can then I guess top your brownie with and, and bake it all up in this little skillet. But she wanted this just so she could make an egg or two. She just wanted a little skillet like this. So I'm like, that's an easy enough request. So I'm going to make this as part of her uh, birthday gift, along with a couple other items. So um, I thought that was uh, super cool. And um, let me see, for the Brookie pan, I paid $5.20. Inexpensive. So presumably this was almost $11 retail. So I got it for half off. I thought that was nice. Um, so... Those are the only Michaels things. I was really good. I did not buy any of the craft items. I looked um, and I even saw things that I thought to myself, oh, this could be used for other items, non-Christmas uh, items. And I still said to myself, no, you need to use what you already have. So I resisted. I resisted. Anyway, um, my next stop was Dollar Tree. And um, I got some clearance items um, as well as something that I wish I had found before Hanukkah. Here, let me show you guys real quick. <laughs> um, 
you know, Hanukkah candles drip an awful lot. Um, I mean, candles do in general when they uh, when they burn, but they, these are, I feel like Hanukkah candles drip an awful lot. And so you need to put your menorah on a tray so you don't get it all over your furniture. And um, the tray I used this year was, um, it's actually my grandmother uh, who's long deceased. Um, it was something that she brought back from travel in London. It's a beautiful little China platter. And when I think about it now, that could be an antique. That could be 50 years old at least. I really shouldn't be using that to catch Hanukkah wax candle drippings. I mean, I can, I, I'm able to clean it off the tray. That's not the problem. It's just, I probably shouldn't be using that. This is what I really wanted and was not able to find until, of course, now that Hanukkah is over, but I'll have it for next year. It's this plastic uh, tray, which is gorgeous, by the way. This is a fooler. You could put this in the middle of your dining room table with some pillar candles or uh, some greenery or <laughs> just like this. And people think this is something really expensive. This is actually really, really nice. And it will be perfect to catch the wax drippings from my menorah. And I will not feel guilty using my grandmother's tray, which uh, I've since cleaned up and put back in the china cabinet where it belongs. And that's where it should stay. Anyway, so I bought this beautiful tray really heavy duty. It's very, very nice. And, um, okay, clearance items that I bought. Um, I, I bought a couple food items. Um, I bought these little, um, chocolate bars from, I believe these are from Poland. Did it say on here? Oh, I should have, no, Germany, excuse me. No, made in Poland, made in Poland. So it's manufactured for Ludwig Schokolade in Germany but the bars are actually made in Poland. This chocolate is delicious. So, so yummy. I bought two four packs. I'm gonna stick these in my freezer for emergency chocolate. Yes, I have emergency chocolate. If you know, you know. Sometimes you just need emergency chocolate. So that's what that's going to be for. <laughs> and then uh, the other items I bought, I re-upped on my yummy pineapple mustard. I bought two of them because at 50 cents a jar, I'll take it. So these weren't actually 50% off. Like the clearance items for Christmas rang up at 50 cents, not like 62 cents. So I thought that was even better. So 50 cents a piece. I bought two, the last two that I saw of these pineapple mustards. So I picked those up. I love that stuff. It is yummy. And then I managed to find one of these and I'm like, for 50 cents, I'll take a gamble. Although I'm scared. Have any of you tried the Mrs. Miller's bacon spread? Have you guys tried this? Let me know in the comments if you have. I thought of trying this on camera, but then I thought if it's really gross, I don't want to like <laughs> gag or make a really horrible face. So I think try this off camera and then maybe I'll just let y'all know uh, what I think about it. But comment if uh, you bought this and have tried it. Let me know. <laughs> um, and then the last item, okay, this is the only item that I intend to craft with. Um, but I, uh, and I've shown these before, um, on a previous video, um, it's these, um, shadow box piece signs. Uh, these were 50 cents a piece. Um, I explained on the last video that, um, what I want to do is remove, uh, either the front or either the front panel, which is a little hard to do because it's very easy to break these letters or break the frame itself, or even better, remove the the back panel to then um, redesign the inside and paint it all up. Um, I like these in particular because they are already slightly falling apart. Here, um, I'll show you on this one because it's really, this one's actually really quite broken. I don't know if you could, oh, here we go. I could show you now. Yeah, it's like all separated. This this part is like coming up or whatever. I, I mean, to look at it, it looks fine, but then like it is actually separating. And even the cashier said to me, oh ma'am, this is falling apart. And I said, no, 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 I'll take it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And I explained to her what I was doing. This will be very easy to take apart now. So I'm super excited to get uh, these crafted up and I do intend to give them as gifts immediately. Um, in fact, one of these is gonna go to Shannon as part of her gift for her birthday. So. I have purpose for them. That's how I'm justifying it. And I did not buy any more crafty items. So yay, Michelle. <laughs> um, last items I bought were not clearance items. They were just because I went into the Dollar Tree hungry and you know how that goes. I bought the um, Vortman vanilla sugar wafers and 
the chocolate sugar wafers. I haven't tried them yet, but I know it's Vortman's. Vortman's is a very high quality cookie um, and I'm sure they're gonna be delicious. Should I try them now? Let me try the vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and just bust one out. It's early in the morning. I haven't had breakfast yet. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one out. I love sugar wafers. Like, these are delicious. Ooh, they, they are thick. I didn't expect it to be this thick. I'm gonna take just a small bite. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh. These are delicious. These are way better than, I tried the Baduco brand of the sugar wafers. I hate to say it, you guys, I love Baduco. I did not love those. They were gross. Very bad. These are outstanding. You can really taste the vanilla. Like they don't just taste sugary. They actually taste like vanilla. Yum. I'm going to be chowing on those as soon as I'm off camera. Breakfast. <laughs> okay. Um, Next, I'm going to show you the things that I picked up for myself at Walmart. Um, I need some new tops. Um, in fact, like I'm looking at this one right now that I pulled out of the dryer this morning and put on. And like, I don't know. I've been buying the long sleeve tees from Kohl's for a, for a long time. The Sonoma brand long sleeve tees. And I feel like this year, they're not made as well to say it Coles. I still love you. And I'll show you some really awesome stuff that I did buy from there. But long the long sleeve tees are not where they're at. So I'm like, I, I need something maybe a little more substantial. I don't know, maybe a somewhat thicker material. But then I'm also in a very um, hot period of my life. You know, that's another one. If you know, you know. Um, so I can't wear sweaters or anything like that. It's just too much. I like to layer. Um, so I think I found a good solution in these tops from Time and True. Um, they are calling these a relaxed fit. It's kind of like almost a tunic length of these long sleeve. Um, it's like a fine sweater knit almost. I don't know if you guys can see through the light in the window behind me. It's a very fine gauge knit, um, almost like a sweater, but feels like a t-shirt. Looks like a sweater, but feels like a t-shirt. That reminds me of the, isn't that easy spirit shoes? I don't know. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about, or am I just crazy? Anyway, um, <laughs> I picked these up, and they come down to um, just about my hip line, which I like. I don't want anything too short, necessarily. Um, and I thought this would be cute to go with jeans, but I could also just as easily put on a pair of black slacks. And if I had to go into the office, I could and look, you know, office ready. I could dress it up or down with jewelry, scarf, whatever, you know. But these are really nice. These were... These are not a clearance item, but they were $11.99 a piece. And I think a really good deal. And I think very well made and very comfy and cute. Um, again, made by Time and True. I got it in that uh, burgundy color. I also picked up the navy. This is navy, may look black, but it's navy. Oh, here, compared to my black shirt. Yeah, it's navy. And I also got this pretty moss green. And I probably would have picked up black, but they didn't have the extra large available. This is an extra large 16, 18, and I think it fits really, really nicely. So I was really uh, happy with those. And then this is so cute. I had seen like, you know, sometimes like on Facebook, on the BuzzFeed articles, like, you know, they'll give you like a top 15 list of like, you know, things you should buy at Walmart or things that are... I don't know, whatever trending at this store or that. So it was a Walmart top 15 list of things that you should buy for uh, cold weather or something like that. And they were showing this adorable uh, puffer jacket. It's short. It's like in, you know, it's just like a little ski jacket, if you will. This adorable puffer um, was, let me think a minute. This was, um, hold on, let me see. Okay, there it is. Okay, so it was twenty six ninety eight, I believe was the actual was the former price. Hold on, why can I not see the tag? Here it is. It was twenty four ninety eight. Excuse me, was twenty four ninety eight? I picked it up for twelve ninety eight. This really cute, right size, right weight jacket for me. I have. <laughs> 
you know, when you live in a cold weather area, you have like varying degrees of jackets, right? You know, everything from like a thin little nothing to your heaviest coat ever. I, this is the one step before my heaviest ever. So for most days or like days that I know I've got a wrestling meet for Jake and I want to, you know, I have to sit in the bleachers in the gym and I need a place to like take off a coat that I can stuff into a tote bag or something. This is perfect. This is exactly what I need. Um, and I paid twelve ninety eight for it. It's so cute. It's in moss green with a tonal moss green uh, plastic zipper. It fits really, really cute. Like, I can't even stand up and show you guys because you you won't be able to see it on me. But I love it. I am very, very happy with this. This was a super, super purchase. So, yeah, Walmart. I do, I have to say, over the past few years, Walmart has really stepped up their clothing game as a whole across men's women's and children oh my god the the kids stuff is really awesome i wish it was that cute when jake was younger i mean i used to like target um better for uh clothing for jacob when he was young um you know in like little boy sizes um but these days walmart would be getting my money for sure they have great stuff for even better prices that's just my opinion so uh that's the walmart stuff and finally kohl's so I'm going to show you the 12 pack of Hanes socks that started it all. Yesterday I'm sitting at my desk working and I get an email from Kohl's reminding me that I have $15 in Kohl's cash. I'm almost like, oh wow, I didn't realize that. And it was expiring by, uh, on 1231. And I remembered, I'm like, oh, Jacob really needs socks. So I, um, I went online. I found this 12 pack of Hanes socks. Um, when I applied my $15 in Kohl's cash, I think I came out of pocket like four or $5. I mean, very little for some Hanes socks. You know, we're at the point right now, you guys ever get to the point with your own socks or your kids or your spouse, whatever, where, um, you just can't match them up anymore. So it's time to kind of, we're there, we're there. I've got a bunch of loner socks that I have just not been able to pair up and I have put forth my best effort in doing so. And it's time to just pitch them and start anew. So... Um, I ordered these for store pickup. And of course, when I went to pick these up, I started looking around and I could not believe they had stuff on clearance, uh, right now for up to 70% off. Um, the only items I bought were apparel items. Again, I did not look at any, at any of the decor. I did not want to be tempted in any way. I didn't have any need. Um, you know, in the past I would look sometimes at like ornaments or other decor that I could reconstruct into something different, you know, that I could craft with. Um, but this time, no, I'm going to use the items that I have with the exception of those two peace signs. But shh. <laughs> um, So the items that I found at Kohl's, um, I've got some stuff for spring already. I'm really excited. I saw, um, I thought these were so cute. Um, they had these um, right around fall. See, this is something that didn't make sense to me. Right around when they were switching over to the cold weather stuff, they had these short sleeve sweatshirts like like French Terry sweatshirts by Sonoma and I thought to myself these are super cute but I think they're at the wrong time and I wasn't going to pay the price that they were at that time for something that I wasn't going to be able to wear until spring but sure enough I walked in uh yesterday and all this stuff was marked down I mean marked down so um let's see this top was well retail on it was thirty dollars um yeah right uh marked down to ten fifty this is a French Terry bodied uh, short sleeve sweatshirt with a cotton eyelet sleeve. Look at that. And it's kind of hard to tell the color on camera. It's actually kind of like um, like a cornflower blue. It's very pretty. It looks gray on camera. I mean, I'm looking at it right now, and to me it looks gray on camera. But just so you know, it's like a, kind of like a cornflower blue. I love this. It is so fun fresh and pretty. The sleeve is like slightly puffed. See, this is what I've been looking for. I've been lamenting to my mom that like, I need new stuff that's casual because I am home a lot and I do work from home and that kind of thing. But when I go out, I want to look presentable. So like the items that I found at Walmart and now Kohl's, I think is going to help me get there. So anyway, um, this is what I was looking for. Something that's casual, but cute. So I picked it up in this uh, cornflower blue. And then I picked a color I don't normally pick. I don't, this is kind of like a greenish yellow. This may show up a little bit better on camera. Yeah, I guess it looks pretty accurate on camera. This is about the color and not one that I would normally wear, but I love this. 
I love this on me. Again, it's the French Terry body with a cotton eyelet sleeve that's puffed slightly. I don't know if that really translates well. There, you can kind of see it's like a flared sleeve. So, so cute. I love it. Love it, love it. So I picked that up also. And those were, um, again, those were $10.50 a piece. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, I picked up, um, these are also short sleeve sweatshirts. So we're on kind of a theme here. I tend to do that a little bit. If I like something, I'll get it in at least two colors or two different patterns. You know, I just like easy. <laughs> um, so this is a short sleeve sweatshirt in this cool, it almost looks like, at first I thought it was like batik or tie dye, but then if you look a little bit closer, it's almost like it's like a photo negative of flowers or something. It's really unusual. It's an unusual pattern, but it's very, very cute. It's all French terry, including the sleeve. This has a somewhat little puff sleeve also with the cuff on the end here. I don't know if you all can see that very well, but I love it. It's really cute. I love blue. I think this is so much fun. Uh, I paid $6 for this. Retail on it was 30, I paid six. Six bucks, thank you very much. I'm ready for spring, I'm ready for spring, I'm already ready for spring. And then I also picked up another one of those short sleeve sweatshirts in this green with floral pattern, which I thought was kind of cute. I like this a lot. I like to wear um, this army green with um, gold jewelry. So I think that'll be fun, cute. Casual can be cute. <laughs> and then I am such a hoodie girl. I love a hoodie. But specifically, I like full zip hoodies. Um, <laughs> I tried on a couple of cardigan sweaters yesterday. I keep trying with a cardigan. And I don't know why, you guys. I don't like a cardigan on me. But I'll wear a hoodie all day long. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. But I love hoodies. They had these uh, also by Sonoma. Uh, retail on this was $30. I paid $12 for a very nice solid black French terry hoodie, nice, um, nice zipper down the front, a full zip hoodie in black. And I thought this was so, so cute and fresh kind of looking. It's kind of nautical. It's summer. It's uh, 4th of July. It's everything. It's just kind of like, it's mostly cream bodied, like on front and back, but then the sleeves are navy and the pockets are this like kind of brick red and the red and the trim on the bottom. Is like this brick red so I love this I think it's very um nautical kind of it's really cute it looks good on me I like the cream see look how it brightens up my face I love it I have no color right now I mean I'm pale winter pale skin is so dry <laughs> I hope you can't that I hope that's not translating on camera but I feel like the cream color look how that brightens my face I love it so cute 12 bucks thank you very much I was pretty excited for those and then my last item is um, I featured on a previous Kohl's haul um, where I bought cookware and then I took my Kohl's cash and parlayed that into some clothing items for myself because as I like to joke, you know you're a mom when all of your wardrobe is paid for in Kohl's cash. <laughs> um, but I mentioned that I love Levi's jeans, that they just fit me well, they they put all my middle-aged squidginess exactly where it needs to be, and they just work for me. So I found uh, Classic Straight Levi's. Uh, these retailed for, does it say, $69.50, but I paid $31.27, which is kind of a weird number, but it's for these Classic Straight Levi's in kind of this like sort of stonewash uh, color. These are in a 16 medium length. I just wear average length jeans, definitely not tall but I'm also not petite. Uh, the rise is not right on petite for me, even though like at five foot five, like I'm not super tall. I don't have really long legs, but um, petites don't work for me because of the rise. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Petite tops sometimes do work for me though. But yeah, I've got a pair of Levi's for 31 27 So I thought that was a super deal too. And these fit really beautifully. So that is my entire haul. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and for sharing. And uh, please comment below if you are if you guys were able to find some really great bargains out there. I know the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale is out there, but you guys, my allergies can't take it. <laughs> I just can't go in there. Even though, yes, I could buy things for Mother's Day or whatever, 
I don't know. It, it's just too much. I'm, I think I'm just going to hold off on that kind of stuff. I do have some other things that, um, I found, um, last year for uh that I have for Mother's Day this year. So, um, in true, uh, form, for my uh, paternal grandmother, uh, she always kept a gift closet and I have turned into her. I have items that I put up um, for future use. Um, so anyway, I know uh, the Bath and Body Works sale is going on. I know Walmart's going to go to 70 and maybe 90% clearance. I mean, you know, I may pop in there uh, today or tomorrow just to take a quick look. But honestly, I think I'm going to stay out because I'll be too tempted to buy things that I'm like, ooh, I can craft with this. I need to stop. I need to stop. Anyway, you guys, uh, take care. Thank you so much for watching and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace.